as we talked about, we got the college football playoff rankings tonight. We got a big game on Monday Night Football last night that we will get to. And maybe most important of all, we are seven hours away from the NFL trade deadline. There it is, just ticking past the seven-hour mark. And here is the man who knows all, Adam Schefter, who probably slept last a week ago Tuesday, <laughs> is with us here getting set for trade deadline day. Shefty, set the table for us here. What should the fans be thinking about and to knowing what yeah. you are hearing as we work our way towards the deadline this afternoon? Green, I know there are all sorts of hopes and expectations, but let's remember the fact that there already have been five trades within the last week. Five. So those are the types of moves that ordinarily fans might be accustomed to seeing on the final day of the trade deadline, which is at 4 o'clock Eastern today. So for all those people who have grand hopes, they're probably going to be disappointed. Now, I still think we still could see a trade or two today, and the most notable one would involve the Broncos linebacker, Bradley Chubb. The Broncos have been in talks with other teams. In this point in time, I think either they will trade him for a package that does include a first-round draft pick, or they will opt to re-sign him to a long-term extension. Either way, Bradley Chubb is poised to become the next defensive player who lands a mammoth-sized contract. The question is whether it will be in Denver with the Broncos or it will be with another team. He, to me, is the biggest name player that could be traded today. Now, there could be a surprise that sneaks in there. My guess would be no. There are other names that are dangling out there. Naheem Hines, Cam Akers, Jeff Wilson, a whole host of other names that are out there, and maybe something could get done. But we've already seen a lot of activity. We've seen that teams are more willing to make deals, five in the last week, and I would imagine we get another trade or two today, Hopefully more, but that, I think, is a realistic expectation. A lot of fans, I think, are waiting to hear wide receivers' names called today. Brandon Cooks, Jerry Judy, Elijah Moore, to some degree. What, okay. what or should we be expecting there? Let's take you through all of them. The, the Jets have said they're not going to trade Elijah Moore. We'll take them at their word, and I think that that's probably an accurate assessment. The Broncos don't want to trade Jerry Judy or K.J. Hamler right now because, essentially, they – poured almost a quarter of a billion dollars, not to mention the draft picks, into Russell Wilson. They want to get the offense back on track. Jerry Judy's coming off a game in which he caught six passes for 62 yards and a touchdown. The offense, as bad as it's been this year, did show a few signs of life on Sunday in a win. And now, essentially, they want to try to hold on to those offensive pieces, especially when Jerry Judy has multiple years left on his contract. Brandon Cooks is in a little bit of a different category. The Houston Texans would be open to trading him and would like to find a trade partner. The problem is, is that Cooks is due $18 million fully guaranteed next year. And there aren't a lot of teams, if any, that are willing to take on that salary and take that off the Houston Texans' hands. So for all the people who want to see their team Go trade for Brandon Cooks. That's great. It would help this year. He's a great player. He's somebody you want in the locker room. But the fact of the matter is right now, there's not a team that's willing to eat that contract for next year. And contracts become a major part of all these deals, Greeny. We saw last week the Chicago Bears paid down the salary on Robert Quinn when they traded him to Philadelphia to make it easier for the Eagles to fit him under the cap. Yesterday, when the Bears trade Roquan Smith to the Ravens, they paid down his salary to the point where essentially the Ravens are paying them about a half million dollars in base salary this season. And so money is a part of all these deals. Money is a part of the Bradley Chubb deal. You're not going to make that deal unless you have an agreement in place with the player. And so money becomes a huge factor in all these deals, and it will be today in the deals that are or are not made. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.